Hello, AP Physics One. I'm about a day and a half late at getting out the calendar for next week, and I apologize for that, uh, but let's walk through it real quick. So, here is our calendar for the week of April 13th through April 16th. Monday and Tuesday um, together this is a 40 minute assignment, and so it's split over two days. I'd like for you to do a web assign, which is a bunch of multiple choice questions. Let's move my bubble over there. All right, multiple choice questions I'll have assigned. Do all of the work on a separate piece of paper. Show all of your work for every problem that's there. Submit to web assign. You only get one submission. This is not the grade that goes in, into, into, into Infinite Campus. I'm not concerned with whether or not you get it right on the first time. I am concerned with whether or not you can figure out what you did wrong. So after you get it, after you submit, go look at the questions that you got wrong. In a separate color ink, correct your work on the questions that you got wrong. Once you've done this, take a picture of your work, including those corrections, and upload that picture to the designated spot on Schoology. I will then go through and give you some feedback based on your submission. So that's where the grade comes from. The grade is not what, what ah, the grade is not what web assign says. The grade is were you able to figure out what you did wrong and fix it in a different color ink. So the picture that you upload to Schoology is what I will be grading. That's two days, Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday, the positive physics. I want you to go to unit 16 and do the review problems that are there. These are older problems. There are, I believe, a force problem, a momentum conservation problem, that sort of stuff to help us refresh, help refresh our minds on those things as we're getting ready for the AP test. Thursday then, there are two, there's more review, on positive physics under unit 16, Hooke's law, which is the force law that deals with springs. And then uh, spring energy problems have to do with the amount of elastic potential energy or spring potential energy that gets stored in the stretch or compression of a spring. So two problems there, or two situations there, forces and energy, both with springs. Watch those videos um, if you need any hints. And the next week we will use these ideas as we look at oscillations and simple harmonic motion. Uh, so that's the week. I hope you all are doing well and staying safe. If you need anything from me, please do not hesitate to reach out. I'm here to support you. I miss you all. I am devastated that we won't be able to see each other in person again uh, for the rest of this school year. Uh, so I feel for you. I especially feel for you seniors that are out there as your senior year. Um, so please know that I support you and I want to help you out in any way that I can. Uh, hope you're all staying happy and healthy and reach out if you need anything, please.